What is going on, my YouTube friends and all my Patreon friends? How are we all living today? Uh, Gabriel, nobody correct me on how to say his name. Is it Hen Enrique? I heard, uh, I think it was Locked Wolf say Henrique. Someone let me know. I feel like it's the first one, not the second one. This is something beautiful. He just dropped this just the other day, and I'm already a little bit late. So let me pull this up, and let's get going. Is Coral C uh, Cadmel Mile is the piano player? Oh, look he at the jacket. There. Sorry, I was talking over him. He was there taking off my pride. Ain't I wrong with nowhere to hide? I'm exposed, see my flaws and all. But you're still here, and that's something beautiful. Wow. <laughs> every once in a while, like I'm sure this is live, every, every once in a while, a, an artist or a singer tricks me, and I'm like, I can't tell, man, if this is like a studio recording or him live. <laughs> man, he's good. Like, wow. And that's something beautiful. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Someone, someone who's more diverse in like the phrasing around, like what, like what kind of a vocal is he? He's like higher than ten or no? Because it feels like he's got like a false ceiling. Like it feels like he's getting close to the, like the limit of where his chest voice will let him go. But it, like his range is so much higher. And I think he was singing a little bit in his mix in the second like high part that he went. But like wow, man, like to be able to provide or showcase that much like intensity at different placements of your voice like me as a mo as a male vocalist when i start singing at the limits of, like at my actual ceiling my voice does some really cool things like that's when it sounds best i can just only do that for so long and you get a few vocalists like gabriel here who it feels like he's at the top and it's got that like that soaring like i don't know how else to describe that my singer is like like come on back me up here but like he can sing higher still like it's just wild man the control and the dynamics like i'd love to see i would love to see pre-compression how much of like a de decibel like jump that he has from his quietest from like his quietest quietest de decibels or dynamics to his loudest i would love to see it man beyonce is like eight decibels which is like a lot i'd love to see what he's got man i would love to see that let's go back a bit more here Riffs and stuff up there, man. The ba the band's like stone facing it too. Like, oh man, this got me pausing like crazy. I do apologize for that, man, because it's I just want to hear the whole thing. Like, uh. Yeah. 
<laughs> like I, I'm not gonna be able to do that run. Like, come on, man. After all that whistle and stuff, you still got that comfortable head voice. Like, talk about care your vocal and like I'm sure it's gonna be longevity. I don't know how long he's been doing like this kind of singing for, but like that's got to speak to how he takes care of his voice, man. It's got to. It has to. Talk about something beautiful. They were not done. like wow i love the like gospel structure the like slow breakdown at the end come on man where's my mouse i love how he still delivers like a climax after the whistle because i think like so often also like you know you have a, a performer who can do the whistle so it's like that's the big moment but like with when he's this comfortable with it and he could just mix it in as like almost like regular melody. <laughs> like wow, man. That that like breaks my brain. It's like how comfortable he is. Because the other side of that, I was thinking about this too. Um, in the choir, he changed like registers. Like he changed at the end there, he was like singing like in like a regular tenor. And it's like he went up to like an alto or like maybe soprano. I don't know. Someone let me know. But um he fit in so nicely though. Like I remember when I was in choir and I was like because it was like school choir, right? So um, I was a baritone, I think, and they had me sing a falsetto line with the altos. And the choir instructor at the time said that he just liked the color that it added from my falsetto, right? Just like singing in a placement that I wasn't super like developed in and, and stuff at the time. But like that created one thing. He like blended in with that. Like he fit right in with that spacing. Like it's just... It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable, man. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to all my Patreons, all the supporters, all y'all uh, supporting and following the channel already. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate all the love. Everyone who's bought a coffee. Man, there's so many things. And during the holiday season, man, it's it's been a blessing. So I appreciate y'all. And we'll see y'all in the next one.